Welcome to a week in our life. We're just gonna be taking little mini clips throughout this week. Hopefully every day, you'll find out. We'll find out when we edit this. So because it's Monday, we like to start our week fresh with new groceries. We will go through the refrigerator and get rid of all the stuff. Well, Lexi will. And I will then take the leftovers and give it to the hen. So nothing is wasted. I spent the morning just kind of planning the week, getting ready, and I placed our grocery delivery which is the best thing to ever happen to our generation. Thank you so much to Walmart for sponsoring this video. We ordered all of our groceries from Walmart. We've been ordering from them for a while because <laughs> inflation is no joke. Like, yeah. what is going on? And I feel like we saved so much money on our groceries compared to other stores we used to shop at when we order from Walmart. For the sake of realness, although I am embarrassed, I'm gonna show you the inside of our fridge. It's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, but go ahead. It's yeah. pretty bad in here right now. It's a little bit out of hand, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta be real with them. <laughs> so this is what our fridge looks like after a long week. Um, just a lot of leftover goublosh <laughs> that needs to be thrown <laughs> away. Some food Junie never ate and some probably expired, a few expired veggies. My groceries get here, I'm just going to Organize this. I do this once a week, and I'm gonna feel so much better about my life when I do. Junie loves organization. <laughs> I don't know well, about she, that. She's organizing. You've got some groceries. Walmart delivery, baby, straight to our front porch. That is convenience, especially when you're a parent. Wow, that was a great commercial, babe. Oh, what the? I thought you were the king of. The one trip wonder, babe. This is a lot. <laughs> I just unpacked our groceries and I did a little $100 challenge to see how many things I could order from Walmart for $100. And you guys are going to be shook at the amount of things I was able to get because I, I, I've known and noticed how much I've been able to save by ordering from Walmart, but I never actually took note of like, how much can I get for this amount of money? And this is amazing, let me show you. Here are all of the things, you're gonna be shook. I was able to get <laughs> for just under $100. It's literally, it's, it's honestly pretty amazing. I'm so glad that I did this. Walmart carries some of my favorite staples. Their organic whole milk is so good. I love their chicken broth. Cody is a grandpa and he loves Bran Flakes and he says the great value brand of Bran Flakes are his favorite. So um, they just have so many good things and the quality is Truly, truly amazing. We love to buy frozen strawberries for our smoothies. One of Junie's favorite things is string cheese lately. <laughs> so I've been buying this for her. And um, yeah, just filling our pantry with a lot of great staples, some veggies, arugula for salad. They also carry a lot of our favorite uh, baby products for Juniper, which is super convenient. We were able to get all of this. If you've been watching a while, you know I love to save money. <laughs> it's just in me. You know, growing up, I didn't come from a wealthy household at all. So we were just clipping coupons. We were doing whatever we could to try to save up until even through college. Cody and I used to shop at Walmart all the time for our groceries in college because we saved so much. And I'm just like so impressed by the quality of the food that they have, but also just how much money you save. So I'm gonna just give you a little example quickly. I was at a different grocery store the other day. We were popping in to grab a couple things that we needed and I needed arugula. The organic arugula at that other store was $5. This is $2.98. That's almost half the price. Thank you for watching my TED talk and now it's time to make my fridge beautiful again. <laughs> have to keep berries stocked in this house because Juniper just devours them. She loves them. And let me tell you, there's nothing messier than a little baby who barely knows how to feed herself trying to eat berries. But you know what? Health is wealth. <laughs>
the things we do for our babies. Okay, the fridge is stocked up and organized. I try to kind of keep my veggies out. I know that this is probably weird, but a lot of times when I put them in the drawer, I forget about them and they go bad. So um, I used to overpack my fridge. I like to just kind of have what we need now so that I actually use it. Um, and I feel like this is kind of what works for our family, especially since it's so easy to just order online and restock from home whenever we need. Yay! <laughs> I, it just says something to my joy when I know my fridge is clean and fresh. That's all I can say. So maybe it's just the way I was raised. Um, Walmart's offering you guys $10 your first online grocery pickup or delivery order, which is awesome. You can use the code triple 10 for $10 off your first order of $50 or more. And if you haven't taken advantage of grocery delivery yet, if you haven't tried it, it's like, my number one favorite life hack. It's become super affordable to do it. It saves so much time and I cannot tell you how many different occasions Walmart's grocery delivery has just saved me in a bind, whether that was needing uh, medicine for Juniper or just for getting an ingredient and not being able to run out to the store and get it. They can get things to me faster than I can get to them and get home a lot of the time. So anyway, I just highly recommend hit the link down below in the description and check them out. All right, I'm currently walking out to the chicken coop right now. I have a little bag of some of the stuff that we cleared out from the fridge. And it makes us feel great because it doesn't always have to go to waste when you have chickens because they are perfectly fine with some kale that might just be a few days late. Okay, back up, back up a little bit. Come on, come on, back up. Maybe some carrots. All right, what about some, all right, some arugula? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. So while those hens are over there enjoying some old leftovers, I wanted to show you guys this new little contraption that my dad and I built. This is a chicken run. Basically, this is green fence, which blends in really good to the grass and the trees back here. And we bent it into thirds and made it a little run for them and we connected it to the main coop. We cut a little hole in the coop and then we wrapped chicken wire and this is actually flexible. So I can shift this and move the entire run over kind of like a little sprinkler. I can make it go all the way over here and all the way over here so they don't eat up the same grass every single time. And this kind of allows the hens to free range, if you will, because they're always having access to green grass during the day. After a few days when they eat it down, I just shift it over a little bit and it's like they've mowed the grass. See, they kind of did it right here as you can see, but usually the back half has more access to sunlight. So this fares pretty well. As you can see, this is all really green grass and I'll move this over in a day or two. And they have, uh, you know, some free range grass just about every single day. They have been laying like crazy, like better than they ever have before. Check this out, I got my little, bucket from looks like from Easter we're gonna open their nest look at this guys I mean they're going hard we got over a dozen eggs just in here and this has been like maybe two days since I last gathered them so I'm gonna put this in here I'll gather up these eggs and take them inside all right here we go we got a basket full of eggs imagine getting this many eggs every two days. All right, so once we bring the eggs in in our convenient Wait, have you Easter, been filming an egg tutorial this whole time? Not a tutorial, I'm just showing them our business. You know, we have a thriving egg business and we will get to it. But anyway, so I bring the eggs in and uh, I'll just give them a nice warm water rinse down, you know? You may not have known, but the reason why Cody's having to wash these is because Unfortunately, chickens only have one hole. Yeah, it's true. For yeah. everything. <laughs> so for I'm sorry if that ruined eggs for you for the rest of your life, but you'll well, get over it. And, and you know, I just like to give them just a nice little warm water, just rinse down. And uh, it, just, uh, it just affirms, you know, that they're all just clean and quality eggs. What, where am I going with this? I, have I mean, no they're, idea. They're, they're, I'm just behind the camera, like. Hey, you're, you're part of this, shoddy. So, 
Okay. Um, so here's the deal. Well, let's but explain to them we have an overflow of eggs. So tell them what we do with these eggs. So because we have so many eggs, Cody came up with the brilliant idea to start an egg business. <laughs> so we actually sell eggs by the dozen. We sell them for really inexpensive, like less than you can buy them at the stores, but farm fresh eggs by the dozen because we just can't eat them all and we supply eggs for our lovely neighbors. Something else I'm gonna organize while the chicken master gets all his eggs organized is I'm finally going to, yeah, this is a nightmare. I'm gonna organize our spices. <laughs> Babe, why are you looking with such disdain? I, I'm not. I was gonna just say what's wrong. I mean. Oh, okay. But yeah. I, mean, let's, <laughs> I let's, knew let's, you were let's, looking with disdain. Let's get it under control <laughs> a little bit, sweetie. I bought some really cute spice containers. So I'm gonna go ahead and like this is just <laughs> not okay. But look, more Walmart staples. <laughs> this has been in here for a while. So I think almost a year ago, I ordered these really cute containers and they come with stickers. And I also got a little spice rack to organize them on. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up our spices. Hi. <laughs> it also comes with this handy dandy little funnel so that you can just, so I'm very excited for this to not look how it looks anymore. <laughs> when I bought these labels, I was just drawn to them for some reason, and now I know it was meant to be. <laughs> Wanna show you something? That is so you. Honey. Isn't that hilarious? such a huge difference. I organized down here as well. Obviously it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing, but hey, this is just the reality of the fact that I have a million spices and <laughs> I probably need to get rid of some, but I just love to cook. And I feel like when you get rid of the spice, you end up needing it like three days later. So anyway, I love that it at least looks beautiful when you pull it out from up here and I got rid of everything that I don't use. So it is much more organized down here as well. I'm gonna link everything that I used down below so that you can buy the labels and the spice containers and this little spice rack if you're interested. So the craziest thing just happened and I will let you explain, babe, but this is just... I came outside to drive something because it was about to rain. I wanted to drive this package we got into our garage and I, while I was outside, I just heard a, a super loud crack and I was like, what in the world? And there was a little bit of gust of wind because you can see it's a little bit kind of stormy out right now. And it wasn't even a big gust of wind, maybe 20 to 30 mile an hour, just, just a stormy gust of wind. And I hear a loud crack and the largest tree on our property broke at the stump. On our driveway. Across our driveway and we had no way to get out. And also, I'm just very sad about this tree. Yeah. Because it was so beautiful. It was huge. I think that it must have been rotted on the inside, right? Yeah. It was hollow. Man, that is just, look how big this tree is. Go walk up to it, Coates. Like, this easily could have killed us. If God forbid we were driving on the driveway, walking the path. It's gonna take like an entire day, you know, to, to, to get this cut and cleared. Like like all day, it'll take all day to get this thing like cut up. You this have is to cut every individual. This is the stuff that's just why, <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh my goodness! How old do you think this tree was? Fifty. I mean, look look how thick it is. Fifty. It could have been <sighs> maybe more. I'm so sad to lose this tree. But more than I am sad about the tree, I'm happy that we and Junie and everyone is okay because we're on this driveway many times a day. Oh yeah, we walk And if we would have been walking or you would have been on the side-by-side -side going down, I mean, that would have killed you if you were on the side-by-side. -side. And now in true Cody fashion, 
He is climbing on the tree. This is gonna cost a few racks. Exactly how I wanna spend my money. making really good progress on the tree. We only got a little bit left to clear the road. And man, the tractor was clutch. I'm in our guest house right now. We have some family coming to stay with us and I was just making the bed. Remember when we used to live in here? So crazy. Um, but I was just making the bed and I recently started doing this little hack for bed sheets that I think is so helpful. So I wanted to share it with you guys in case you might find it useful as well. So I always had just a ton of sheets and like bedspreads and all different pieces to bedding <laughs> like kind of you know folded but disorganized not together as one set if that makes sense and i like white sheets a lot so a lot of times um you know pieces of the set would get mismatched from different brands and um anyway i'm mumbling and rambling on but what i'm trying to say is a really great hack is to fold all the sheets the fitted sheet the flat sheet and one of the pillowcases and stuff it inside the second pillowcase. I'm holding this up right now, but you can actually like neatly fold it. I'll show you. So you can fold this over and just kind of stack these in your linen closet or wherever you keep your linens. And then when it's time to make a bed, you just, it's hard to do this one handed. You just pull out all your folded sheets from inside and everything stays together. And I love that. <laughs> Life hack. Okay, do a split. Show me what you can do. Oh. Are you serious? That's it. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? I can't do that. So should we start yoga? This is as far as I can go down with my knees. <laughs> We're gotta get better. This is unacceptable. Flexibility is longevity. No. Okay, keep working on your splits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is this? Oh, that is so painful. Babe, you can't groan. up to oh he stood up good follow james catching oh, on your butt. get up there sweetie oh Slap it. okay i made a huge mistake by not showing the poor of this according to our family no no, no. she made a huge mistake perfect. we just made a gourmet three hour dinner yeah. and didn't video any of it what are they called peanut, peanut butter, butter bars chocolate bars whoa, <gasps> whoa. look at the look at that Okay, you have to cut one. <gasps> cut. So How is it? Good. <gasps> wait, look at the texture. <gasps> it is. That is. Okay, okay, wait. The smoothest thing I've ever seen. Wait. Oh my goodness. <gasps> See that layer of peanut butter? Oh my. Should I take a bite? Yeah, yeah, take a bite. Tell me if it's good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Are you serious? Give me the camera. <laughs> like, what? Wait. No, I'm serious. Like, one of the best no. things I've ever tasted. The dessert girls are back together. <laughs> what did the vlog girls do? Wait, don't talk about me, dude. Wait, I need another bite of this. 
Wow, you need to make this. I'll link the recipe. It has been 15 minutes and we will not stop talking about how perfect. We're just like decking it. We're like <laughs> decking it. <laughs> These melt in your mouth. It's an elevated Reese's peanut butter cup. No one is as obsessed with dessert as we are. Every single person here, we're like, <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> And every bite, I feel the same way. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's a new day. I have an audition today, so I just finished studying and getting ready for that. This is the fit. It's basic. Um, it's a really cool project. And I actually signed something saying that I wouldn't talk about it. So I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to say it's a really cool project and do my audition and... Hope for the best, like I always do. But it's two scenes, they're pretty intense. So I gotta go get ready to feel all the stressful feelings. And I didn't do much makeup, just very minimal. Um, I'll wear my hair down in one scene and then up for the second scene. And they also need me to speak in Spanish um, for a separate take to just show them that I'm able to do that. So wish me luck. Of course, Juniper wakes up as soon as I start this. I was hoping I'd have a little extra time. Hello, baby. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, Shitty. Do you want to swing on it like Tarzan and Jane? So Lex found a Tarzan oh. vine that you swing on. You think it will sustain me? I, I can't guarantee that, but <laughs> you can just put a little weight on it and just see if it'll okay. if it'll hold. Oh, I think it might. All right, be very careful, okay? All right, <laughs> do it, swing. Wait. It's kind of sketch, right? Yeah. What does Tarzan say? Oh. <sighs> do it. <laughs> Do it. Be careful. Okay, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, oh! Are you okay? You fell on your butt bone. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we walked through this really beautiful restaurant and then they took us to this back room. I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> We're just like, oh, okay. Hmm. It'll be great. It's a gloomy day, and Cody and I are headed to the farmer's market. This is the fit. I showed you guys these um, in another video a few weeks ago. They're from ThreadUp, and this hat is also the one I showed you a couple days ago. So I actually, I got it for Cody, but let's be real. I always steal his hats, is what I was gonna say. So sometimes I get him things, and they're actually a gift to self. What kind of bird could have done this? This is no like little dropping. This this was like buckshot that hit our car. Is it that bad, babe? Okay, I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm gonna play back the footage. <laughs> I told you. Like, are you joking me? What the what kind of bird did that? That's like a bald eagle crap. <laughs> I think a squirrel sat on the top of our car. <laughs> squatted down oh my gosh babe this is an attack i know uh, i'm gonna get these squirrels back with a vengeance dude this is a personal attack on us mm -hmm. what did you do what did you do to these squirrels I cody's mom's in town g mama is her grandma name and she's so great so she's actually watching juniper for us so we can go to the farmer's market um 
without her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're like me, but I just don't like getting cute when it looks like this outside. Neither do I. Oh, shut <laughs> it. You look the same every day. What do you mean? You look great. I always think I you look great. I love you. You're so nice to me. I'm wearing hats. We it's can't really kiss. kiss on you to have a hat on. Cody really wanted to show you guys got, his latest discovery. We got blasted two more times. Do you think it was the same? I mean, no, I was had it to, a flock? No, this is a drive-by crapping <laughs> with multiple animals. That's no bird. I'm sorry. I don't know what it could be, though. Weigh in, friends. What? Who does this? Why is it cold and raining? Why are we here? Oh, you wanted to do an outing together. I did, but isn't it June? Yeah, let's go get your sweater from the car. Come on, child. I need a sweater. <laughs> Mama. I need your sweater. We're picking out some veggies to plant in our garden beds. We got some chef's choice. Tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Question mark? <laughs> We're learning. Chef's choice <laughs> tomatoes. Really um, I kind of want to get some of these purple bell peppers. And yeah, those are good. And let's get some strawberries too. Guy. He's red and black, right? So he's good. Don't let him nip you, though, Grover. Get out of the way. Look how he can curl back on himself. See, he was, he didn't have that. Wow. The yeah. shop snake. All right. Just want to make him the wood snake. <laughs>